In this video, I'm going to show you how to install locally the Quen 7B LLM by Alibaba. This Quen 7B is the 7 billion parameter LLM created by Alibaba Cloud, and it's a transformer based large language model which is pre trained on a large volume of data, including publicly available web text, books, codes, and a lot of other things. Also, based on this pre trained Quen 7B, Alibaba has released Quen 7B Chat model, which is an AI assistant. Also, this Quen 7B Chat is trained with alignment techniques. You can see on your screen the GitHub repo of this project. I'll be installing this Quen 7B Chat on my local machine by using AWS SageMaker Notebook. You can use any Linux instance for this matter. Now, the first step which you need to do is to go to this GitHub repo and click on this green button and copy this URL because we are going to clone this repo. Before I move forward, there are two things. First, uh, don't worry about copy pasting all the commands I'm going to use. I'll put it in my blog and I'll put the link to those commands in this video's description. So just see and follow along. For AWS SageMaker Notebook instance, I am using G4DN 4x large instance because this model requires a lot of memory and also uh, some GPU cards. So let's get started. This is my SageMaker Notebook instance. In this one, select Conda Amazon PyTorch latest. Let me change the theme to a better one so that uh, it will be more visible. Let's go with a dark one. Okay, much better. Now on the left hand side, click on this Git icon, clone a repository and paste the link which, you, which we just copied. So it will clean. Uh, clone the repo here like this has already done quen 7b now cd to this quen 7b directory here by using the cd command there you go so we are now in the cd command next we need to do is to install this transformer package so pip install transformers let's run it and wait for it to finish shouldn't take too long Transformers package is installed. Let's install rest of the requirements which are in this GitHub repo. Let's wait for it to finish. It will install a lot of things, but shouldn't take more than two, three minutes. All the requirements are done. So let's now install flash tension for floating point 16 or um, BF16, which is B float. This will install this flash flash attention and that helps in efficiency and some lower memory usage so let's wait for it to finish and in my previous attempts it has taken me around 20 to 25 minutes to get it installed so let's wait for it to finish and i'll pause the video after around 25 to 30 minutes flash attention is installed now eventually so now let me run this command and let me walk you through what is happening here so first we in the first two commands we are just downloading some of the modules needed in the third one we are initializing the token with this quen 7b chat model and then we are setting our efficiency uh, whether it is and we are just giving it auto whether it is um, floating point bf or whatever it will just collect automatically and then from there we'll be generating the config and lastly, I am passing it a prompt and it should return me a response. Okay, let's run it and see. Uh, it should again take some time because it will download the model, uh, which is around 16 GB. I'm running it now. Let's wait for it to finish. There you go, it is downloading it. And let's, let's wait for it to start downloading. And you can ignore these warnings for now. Okay, so as you can see, it has started downloading the first file of, out of it, and all of almost all of them are around 2 GB mark, so around 15 to 16 GB it will download. So make sure whatever instance you are using, it has plenty of space around I would say 25 GB to 30 GB at least. 
Okay, let's wait for this to finish. It is at the last leg of downloading the last eighth shard. It has taken around 10 to 15 minutes to download all of these. Let's wait for this one to finish and see what happens. I think it, it, it should be doing some checkpointing afterwards. You can ignore this warning because it's asking us to install rotary and layer norm to add more efficiency. I'm already concerned about the memory here, so I'll just skip these for now. Let's wait for it to finish. It is still working as you can see from this Derek. It is doing checkpointing now. This is fairly quick operation. And now it is setting up the configuration after download. Okay, it has, as I was expecting update, it, it has run out of my memory at the last command. So it seems that even the 4x large instance is not enough for it. I would need someone somewhat higher. Um, but anyway, I will upgrade my instance when I have access to it and uh, recreate from this step. But let me show you what it has done so far. So it has failed around this step where it was generating the config. So pretty much if you have access to the powerful instance, um, which has sort of if we talk about in terms of AWS EC2 instances like G4 or G5, 8x large or even 12x large, that should be good enough. But we definitely need a very powerful instance for it or a server. So if you have access to it, this should work with these commands because this was the last leg where it ran out of memory. Afterwards, when, once this step is done, you can just uh, use this these prompts to ask a question and chat with it and it should return user responses. So this is it guys, as I mentioned earlier, I will put all of these commands um, in my blog and I'll put the link to that blog in video description. I will also give you the link to this repo so that you can download it yourself. Thanks for watching and if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you.